Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Madam Secretary, welcome. Uh, the U.S. Border Patrol agents that uh, are employees of the Department of Homeland Security and uh, under your jurisdiction have tough, tough jobs. They're out there in the middle of the night uh, trying to track down illegal aliens and drug smugglers and weapons smugglers and other contraband and so on. Uh, they're fired at uh, sometimes with weapons provided by other government agencies, sometimes wounded, sometimes killed. Uh, I wonder if you could comment on a court decision uh, that came down in the case of the prosecution of one of your agents, a Jesus E. Diaz, Jr., who was sentenced last week to two years in prison for what could best be described, in fact, how the Washington Times described as improperly lifting the arms of a handcuffed 15-year-old drug smuggling suspect uh, who was uh, that, that's a common technique used by law enforcement to force people to the ground to control them, is to, is to lift their arms to force them down onto the ground if they are struggling, attempting to escape, and so on. Uh, this, was, uh, uh, this prosecution apparently took place at the behest of the um, uh, Mexican government and uh, was conducted by the same U.S. Attorney's Office that uh, prosecuted uh, two agents, uh, not under your watch, but under the previous administration for having shot at another uh, drug smuggler. Uh, they were subsequently granted uh, uh, a pardon or had their sentences commuted by President Bush. You may recall those two agents. Are you familiar with this case involving uh, 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 Jesus Diaz? Uh, I'm not familiar with that uh, decision. I can agree, however, with your beginning statements that our Border Patrol agents have very difficult jobs under very difficult physical circumstances, and uh, they do. It's a 24-7 job, and they're doing a remarkable job. This case the has been pending for, for a few years now, and uh, that seems pretty serious sanction. Two years in prison, uh, both your Inspector General's office uh, and uh, the Office of Professional Responsibility at ICE cleared this agent of any wrongdoing. But nonetheless, uh, he was subsequently prosecuted. Uh, the uh, Law Enforcement Officers Advocates Council, an organization that obviously looks out for the interest of people who are doing these dangerous jobs, uh, says that this was a totally uh, improper prosecution of this individual. Uh, and you're not at all familiar with this? I'm not. Would you look into this and report back to the committee and let us know what your thoughts are about this prosecution of one of uh, your agents? I'd be happy to review the decision. Well, I would appreciate that. Let me ask you this. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, how often do you meet with Attorney General Holder? Oh, it varies. Um, Not that often, really, in the context of things. Do you uh, think it would be helpful in light of the uh, fast and furious debacle and light of uh, prosecutions like this one uh, that uh, that uh, department of the government ought to be informing your department on a more regular basis of uh, what they're undertaking so that you can be better informed and be outspoken in uh, representing the interests of your agents and the responsibilities of your department? Well, sir, I think I am outspoken in the interests of my agents, um, and I do think there will be lots of... But if you're not informed, if you furious. don't know about these incidents, if well, you don't know about Fast and Furious and it went on for a long period of time and you're not informed, how can you be effective? Yeah. You know, uh, what is the question? The question is, shouldn't you have closer communications with the other principal law enforcement agency uh, of the federal government so that you can know what's going on when your agents are being endangered by their allowing weapons to walk, when your agents are being prosecuted uh, by uh, their uh, U.S. attorneys. Uh, if pressure was put on our government by the Mexican government to do this prosecution uh, of one of your agents, don't you think you or somebody in your department should have been informed of that, either by the Secretary of State or by the Attorney General or somebody involved in, uh, in this kind of cross-border uh, politics where drug smugglers here, here for the second or third time. I'm aware of a, uh, a prosecution of a, of a deputy in uh, Texas as well for 
uh, attempting to uh, stop drug smugglers, and yet the people who are getting prosecuted aren't the drug smugglers in these cases. They're the people who are trying to enforce the law. Well, as I, I said um, earlier, um, I think my number one interest uh, when we had a dead agent, Agent Terry, was to get the shooters, to get those who killed him, uh, some of whom had fled into Mexico. And uh, I think that was... I think that's a, that's, a, that's a laudable goal, Madam Secretary, but it was too late. The fact of the matter is there needs to be better communication. So somebody can say, whoa, this is a crazy idea. You're giving guns to drug smugglers uh, that are going to come back and be used uh, to and it by agents? And, and Representative, it, it, it will be. And I think this committee uh, has to... Uh, avoid a rush to judgment here, but uh, it seems to me that there will uh, be lessons learned uh, from this, and there very well may be a, uh, changes in the field as a result of this. The question you asked me, however, was uh, uh, how often I met with Attorney General Holder, and I was saying in the context of things, given his schedule, my schedule, the myriad responsibilities we each have, uh, not that frequently. I hope that you will make an effort to do If I might ha have the leeway to ask one objection. more question. Uh, you indicated you will investigate this matter with regard to uh, Jesus Diaz, Jr., one of your Border Patrol agents who is now facing two years in prison. Uh, if the prosecution in this case, if the conviction is not overturned on appeal, will you recommend to President Obama that he pardon Agent Diaz if you find, if you find as uh, uh, your inspector general uh, found, and as the uh, ICE uh, Office of uh, Professional Responsibility found, that there was no wrongdoing on his part. If you find that to be indeed the case, would you recommend to the president that he protect your agent? You know, Representative, I don't play what ifs. I'll be happy to review the case and get back to you. Thank you. Uh, time to